Welcome guys, it is the X-Man here. We are back at Oxfile Evolved, yeah boy, and today we're going to be checking out a mod. We're going to do something a little bit different. So, a lot of you know that pretty much every server we do, we have one of the eco mods on there, or a bunch of them, like for the decorations and stuff, because it adds a lot of just needed decoration for Ark. I feel like Ark needs some more decoration stuff. There's not enough of it out there, and building gets very boring once you've kind of built everything once. You need these like extra stuff, like this is from um, the camping eco camping model something like that I can't remember what it's called but you can have different tribes and you can place different tents down and stuff and they like they look like epic they look freaking amazing always always a good job on all of these mods so the one we're checking out today is the saddle one the primordial saddle or something so I've spawned in all the creatures I've spawned in all of the saddles we need and we're gonna go and check them out one by one and uh, see how amazing these are and stuff because arc really really need some decoration it really does and with saddles as well i think it would just all fit in nicely so hopefully this becomes something in the future i really really want it to become something so everyone gets to play with it that'd be amazing but before we do anything if you do enjoy this video at any point don't forget to smash the up button subscribe ring the bell enable notifications all that stuff if you want to download this mod uh, i'll probably leave a link in the description if not it'll be on it's on steam you just gotta search eco and it'll bring a whole list up of all the eco mods there so let's freaking start out then so the dire bear then so uh we d i think i've spawned in like different we've got a forest we've got a primitive forest i got two forest ones okay i uh, thought i was spawning like some of ones and stuff but this is gonna come on and freaking look at this let's get down off look at this how cool does that look so he's got a freaking he's got a bone in his mouth he's like this is meant to be for like the forest tribe or something um he's got a little thing on his head he's got dodos can you like maybe stop looking at me there we go he's got dodos that obviously they've caught and killed look at that one, dodo he's just like chilling there his neck's all like tied up he's got baskets of like herbs and stuff like that there's a freaking terror bird just chilling on his butt uh, over this side, can we fly a bit? Oh, I never saw the other bit. Oh my god, that's adorable. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute. We've got a fish basket where they've gone out and caught some fish and stuff. We've got all the, the tools there, water skin, the torch, uh, a bow. Yeah, this side's got all the abs and the berries and stuff. Look at this freaking otter just chilling in the little, uh, in the little chest of all the silica pearls. Look how happy he's like, yo, I just caught all these silica pearls. I'm helping. So let's have a look what we look like riding this then. Look at that. How, like, cool is that? That looks, like, so much better than just a regular saddle. Like, if we could have some more decorations like this, that'd be freaking amazing. So I believe these saddles do give some um, benefits and stuff. We'll probably have a look at that at the end and see what actually happens. But, yeah, the bear one, I freaking love that. That is amazing. So what's the next one? I think the, yeah, this is a, the Bronto's a forest tribe as well. So let's whack this one on. Holy shit, okay, let's let's check this out. This Bronto <laughs> looks crazy. I, I mean, f first of all, Brontos really need a TLC. They are in so much in need of a TLC, but even so, this makes them just look 10 times better. It's got all the armor on, because these are obviously like raid creatures and stuff. Like, it's it's like, you can tell why they've got all that like, armor on it and stuff. Like, look at that. Imagine making, he's got little shoes on. Oh, he's got little shoes. That's cute. Oh, look at his tail. Damn. Oh, wait, what? Okay. That was, oh, it vanishes every now and then. I have to like have the saddle in range for to see the tail. Okay. I mean, imagine that doing a tail whip on you. That would just slice you open. And then just look at like all the cargo it's carrying. Like, could you imagine a tribe like just transporting this from one place to another? There's so much stuff. They got, there's that bear skin. Like a bear hide there. We got some antlers. We got wood, dodo. Looks like a bag of seeds. They got like the barrels of whatever could be in there. Like that is so cool. Got a massive huge bone. I'm not sure what that's from. Let's have a look at what we look like riding this. Can we get into you? Like, look at that, man. That is crazy looking. That is straight up madness. Like, could you imagine this just like going through? Uh, the forest or summit just transporting goods. I feel that'd be really neat. That'd be really really cool I kind of like that. Okay, what we got next? I think it's the trike. Yeah, we've got a trike. This is a subterrain trike So we're out of the forest tribe We're now on a subterrain one. So let's have a look at this one then Okay, so this is kind of similar to let's have disable your ally looking. This is kind of similar to the uh, the bear so this is I guess their version of 
I mean, like, I guess each tribe has a creature that's going to carry, like, smaller stuff. This looks more like an aberration type of deal. It's got the, the crystals. It's got the mushrooms. Can I fly? There we go. And then we've got in here, we've got some metal, we've got a centipede just chilling there. He's got the rocks, he's got like the dead spider, that's kind of creepy as hell. He's got the tools, he's got some blueprints there. Like I said, the crystals, that's really neat. Has he got an alpha pro on this side? No. That spider's creepy as hell though. <laughs> that spider is straight up creepy and nasty. I'm not sure why you'd want to carry one of them around. But yeah, we like put this like next to here. These are definitely like two small ones or smaller ones that would kind of carry smaller stuff around i guess maybe uh so next we've got the mammoth um what's that one so that's the tundra it's just the tundra tribe so they would use this guy so let's see what you look like with your stuff on oh shit oh damn let's um, remove you from the tree so i can see you a bit damn look at this he's got some hair Yo, that's cool. That's really cool. He's got like some bones up there as well. He's got his hair going on. He's got blocks of ice. <laughs> he's just transporting blocks of ice around. You got anything on your butt? No. So he's got blocks of ice. He's got a little, little platform saddle. That's really cool. He's got like a little ladder to get up there. Then you got a saber tooth hide. You got Palovia. He got a little sheep's. He's got a little sheep's hide there. And then he's got like ivory, like just bones, like all the mammoth tusks and stuff that they've collected. And like a big, massive, long chest. That's cool. I that to work for reals. <laughs> that's really cool. See, that's more of a platform saddle. And we look pretty epic riding that. I just realized underneath as well, it's like, uh, it's like a hide deal going on. Like under here. That's pretty cool. You can see it's some kind of... I don't know what that is. Maybe stuff just to hold it down with or something. I don't know. All right, what else we got then? So let's go to the wolf next. So the wolf's going to have a saddle. Obviously, you don't need a saddle to ride the wolf. But let's bring you up just around here and get your one whacked on. So this is a tundra one as well. So it should be kind of the same. That. That is freaking epic. That is so cute. He's got the little hair. He's got the little barrel. Oh, you could, like, store your room in there and stuff when you're traveling. He looks beefy. Looks beefy with it on. He's got a little bag. He's got like a little sleeping roll. And then look at his feet. How cute are they? These are the little fluffy things on his feet. That's really cool. Oh, I like that. So he would be like, maybe if people were using the mammoth to transport stuff around, then the wolf would be like its guard, I guess. So you'd have a couple of them following it around. That'd be cool. That's, this kind of makes me want to start a series with like tribes like this. I think that'd be really epic. That'd be really cool. Okay, so looking for the Sarko next. So let's get your one on. So what tribe are you? The Everglades. Okay, let's let's move out the way. Oh, so obviously Swamp. Obviously that's what this one's going to be. Let's just move you up here a bit. Damn, so again, they all seem to have like the bone in the mouth, which I think is cool because it's more primitive, I guess. So they'd probably use that more than um, having metal. What else we got then? So we've got, oh god, we've got leeches. Oh, we've got a basket of leeches. That's disgusting. We've got a little frog in here. Oh, we've got some like scoo. Oh, that's cool. He's got like some scuba gear like on the side and there's got a little frog on there. That's really neat. We've got here, oh, got our metrodon there. And then we've got like a basket of, I don't know what that is. Fruit? Is that fruit? Are they embryos? Are they eggs? And he's got a one, he's just got one fish. Oh no, there's two fish. There's three fish. Two fish? There's three fish. Look at his stupid mouth. <laughs> so yeah, it's got like all these like uh, leaves coming off it as well, which is cool. Anything on your feet or your tail? Nah. I like that. That's really cool. Like, that looks like they weren't initially there, but from going into the swamp water and coming back out, they kind of, they've grown on there and stuff. I really like that. Now I think the Iguanodon is in the same tribe as that. Uh, the Everglades, yeah. Let's have a look then. So this is an Everglades Iguanodon. I believe this is one of the newer ones. If I remember seeing the Twitter right, this is one of the newer ones. Now this looks epic. Look at this guy's face. How cool is that? That makes it look like a completely different dino. Like that is awesome. So this one, what are we collecting here? We've got some mushrooms. We've got some like herbs going on there. Oh God, I don't know. Is that not textured right? Okay, he looks a bit flat, but that's fine. We've got some piranhas. 
and some eggs of some sort. But again, it's tail like the Bronto's been like, I don't know, has some uh, added to it. Yeah, I feel like there's a little bug there with the, what, I can't remember what they're, they're freaking called. Whatever that thing's called. The shadow one, it's a little bit weird, but I'm sure that'll be fixed in a hot sec. So I'm really looking forward to getting onto the filer, but we're nearly there. Okay, so we've got the scorpion next. So this is the arid. This is the arid tribe. Look at that. That's, that's obviously for like the desert stuff. How cool does that look? It's got like little tusks on the top of his head. So like probably help it if it's getting attacked. But then it's got stuff on top. It's got little flags. Oh man, this one's actually really cool looking. I really, really like this one. Can we fly please? There we go. So we've got some little jars just hanging there. Which you could put whatever you want to in it. I guess, I don't know. He's carrying a wyvern egg. That's cool. Maybe like um, they've been on a Tranodon or something, drop the egg off, and this guy transport them, you know, to trade and stuff. It's got the T-Rex skull. It's got the flags. The flags are a really nice touch. Really like that. It's got its chest, and then it's got um, like a little rib cage there. That is really neat. I kind of like that one. That would probably be like similar to the trike and the bear, I guess, and the Iguanodon. And maybe not the wolf, but for their tribe, this is their like mini transporting one now we've got the filer i believe yeah filer for the arid tribe this one i've seen and oh my god look at that how freaking amazing does that look is that not like the greatest like just thing in the world it this one's i feel like this is my best so far like by far this would be i guess if i should transport one this would be maybe I don't know, because it's got, like, the skeletons in there, which are really cool. So it's obviously, like, uh, caught prisoners or something. There's another skeleton. There's got a bag of bones. There's a skull. It's got a map. Is there anything up here? That's no, just going to keep the heat off you. But, yeah, this one looks, like, terrifying. And the fight is cool as it is anyway. Let's ride you. Like, look at that. Like, imagine that running at you. I mean, a filer alone running at you, but then a filer with... A skull on it. That looks cool. I feel like these would be really cool guards for like a little base or something. I feel like that'd be really neat. That'd be really cool. I feel like that's definitely my favourite so far. I just I just can't get over how cool it looks with the skull. It looks so freaking epic. Alright, next up then we've got the Tranodon, so the trough troposphere. Is that what's saying that? I'm guessing like the jungles, the tropics, maybe. Yo, I've not actually seen this one. <laughs> what? That's crazy. It makes it look like a bee. <laughs> that is the craziest one so far. What even? Can you even see? Can you even see out of there? It's got like a little mane going on and it's got like a little bee butt. <laughs> that's really cool. That's really... That, that's weird. <laughs> that is so weird. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, uh, it is what it is, I guess. So that was the troposphere, and I think, do we have any more? So we've got like two more left, so they, I don't know, maybe that's just a tribe with Tranodons, I guess. I don't know, next we've got the Argy though, which sounds really cool. Uh, the Volcanic, so these would live on the volcanoes. Holy shit, look at that! Oh, yo, oh my god, it's got a tail, what? Oh my god, I've not seen this one as well, this one's amazing! It's got a wyvern head. It's got like a little mane as well. Can you like stop looking at me? Look at that mane. It's got like crystals. It's got like rocks from the volcano there. Um, some more rocks. Metal, obsidian. Look at his tail though. That is epic. That is really cool. I don't know why. I just kind of like dinos with other dinos faces on them, I guess. <laughs> the B one looks a bit silly, but the filer and this look amazing. Imagine this RG all in red as well. Imagine breeding one so it's all red. Yo, that is actually pretty epic. What is this one on its foot? No, it's just the color of it. That is really cool. I feel like okay, that's the file is still number one. This is definitely number two. That is really cool. I really like that one. That is cool. So next we've got a Megalodon and then we've got a, a cheeky one just down here, but I'm not going to say what it is. It's definitely not the sheep. So let's go and have a look at the Megalodon. So we've got him just chilling here in this little pond. So let's put the Megalodon one on. So this is the brine one. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. So that's got a metal thing in its mouth. It's got like all, all like coral and stuff on it. Let me just get up here so I can fly and we can have a look on the top of him. 
What have we got? We've got a we've got a dolphin on him. Got a salmon, piranha. Uh, got some more fish, more piranhas. That's actually really cool. He's got the coral growing on there as well. I don't think we can move from here because I spawned you in too close to the shore. But that's okay. We can actually see what he looks like. Yeah, that's really neat. That's uh, if you're the water tribe, I guess that's your, your the brine tribe. I guess that's your go-to creature. I love how they've just got like creatures hanging off them, like that's really neat. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look at this last one. So I'm not sure what this is going to be, but I'm kind of looking forward to this. This is a sheep one, uh, a volcanic sheep saddle. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the eyes. What? And he's got a little wyvern wing. Can we ride you that now? Oh, look at that. Look at his look at his face. Can we fly? <laughs> Imagine we could fly. So you'd have the sheep and the RG together. Look, that is actually crazy. It's got like little horns on his head. Can you stop looking at me as well? Everyone stop staring at me. Look at his head, his wings. That like demon sheep right there. That is so cool and creepy at the same time. That is actually amazing. Okay, that's all of the creatures that have been added into the mod so far, or the saddles that have been added for the creatures. I'm guessing there's definitely going to be some more coming because this has been updated a lot. Um, I think when I first ever saw it, it was just the bear or something. And now they've just got like this whole tribe deal going. I mean, it really makes me want to do a series of just like these tribes and people can only live in certain areas and do certain stuff. Is that Kangaroo watching me? Are you coming over to say hi? Do you want to, do you want to be on YouTube? Kangri, do you, you want to come over? Nah, okay, he got a little jealous. So, my favourite is definitely the Phyla. That thing is actually crazy. I love these guys as well. The RG and the Sheep. The Tranodon is probably my least favourite. I don't know why. I just don't like the whole bee thing. <laughs> I feel like it's just trying to turn itself into a bee. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. But yeah, if I was going to join a tribe, it would definitely be this one. It would definitely be one of these, the Arid or something. Yeah, the Arid ones. I would definitely be the Arid tribe. Um... The forest one's not bad. Uh, you're not too bad. The mammoth one's pretty decent. Like the, the tundra one. And the swamp one's not too bad either. Uh, but yeah, definitely the arid one is my favorite. That phyla is just, just epic. It really is well done and all that stuff. So that is the mod then. Actually, I'll tell you what we need to do. So remember when I said they all have like an ability or something? Uh, I don't know if it puts it on when you're riding it. Um... Oh, no, it does. Okay, so I'll just read them off anyway. But you have the arid one, which uh, says insulation while seated on a saddle. So you're not going to get all too hot when you're in the desert and stuff. Provides sandstorm protection if, if one occurs, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Everglades. Are you the Everglades one? I feel like you're the Everglades, right? Uh, yeah. So Everglades have an oxygen buff to you and your passenger while seated on a saddle. So does this one have a double passenger seat now? Oh, that's neat. There's the soccer has a passenger one. That's really cool. Does this one have a a passenger seat? No. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't catch that the first time. That's really neat. So yeah, you can breathe underwater longer if you're riding this, like if it's you and a passenger, which is really cool. Uh, the forest bear beasting immunity while seated on the saddle. Uh, forest bronto increased melee buff for bronto driver and passenger. So these have a passenger one as well. Where do we sit? Kind of there and the riders back here. Okay, that's cool as well. Um... Subterrain. Who was a subterrain? Was that the trike? Yes, a subterrain cave camo buff hidden to most wild cave creatures unless you attack. Must be seated position on saddle. Must be in the seat. So if you enter a cave with this, like just riding it, the creatures ain't going to notice you. That's really cool. So you could use this to go into the caves, collect all the resources that are in there and not have to fight anything. So then trading that stuff... I guess that comes really valuable. That's really cool, that is. Uh, the Tundra one, uh, you get insulation in the cold. Kind of just simple. Uh, the Pteranodon. Where are you? Uh, what do you have? Applies stamina and melee drain on enemies when you pick them up. That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Uh, the Brine one, which is the Shark, says eel camo. Hidden to wild eels unless you attack. Must be seated. So if you're riding this in the water, eels are not going to notice you. Hmm, that's pretty cool, I suppose. Because, 
yeah, eels are a pain. Maybe jellyfish as well. That'd be quite cool. I don't know if jellyfish attack sharks. I can't remember. Uh, and then the volcanic one, you just uh, you don't get hot when you're riding around the volcano. But you've got to be seated. So they're cool. So they've all got little tiny abilities that help you live in that environment. So if you're in the desert and you're riding this, the heat's not going to affect you. Sandstorms aren't going to affect you. If you're living in the volcano, you're riding these. Again, the heat's not going to affect you. They're, they're all little tiny uh, buffs that really help out. I really like the trikes buff. That's actually a really, really cool one. Because obviously you're not going to use the trike to go and do a cave, but you could go in there and just be hidden. I think that's really cool. So, that is the uh, that is the mod there. Like I said, if you want to download it and try it out, I'll leave uh, I'll try and leave a link in the description. If not, just search Eco Mods on Steam. <laughs> All of them pop up and stuff. But uh, yeah, let me know which tribes your favourite and which saddles your favourite. And let me know if you think I should do a little, maybe even just a mini series on here. I don't know. I think that'd be really cool. But um, yeah, anyway. That is all that, so if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, ring the bell with their notifications, and thanks for watching, I'll catch you all in a bit!